Welcome back. 1001 Nights is a collection of stories famous for the flying carpet. Now our very own Alan Nursall, fresh from scouring every flea market in Sudbury, Ontario, has found his own flying carpet. Now all he has to do is prove it works to a bunch of skeptical Ryerson University students. I present to you, Big Al's Flying Carp. Looks really regular to me. Oh, someone has to try this. Not only does this have the power of flight itself, it has the power to imbue levitation upon all who tread upon it. You don't believe me? We'll try it. Everybody take a step back. Manish, you're going to be first. One, two, three. This is really hard. Oh my god. Whoa. Right! Woo! <laughs> it was crazy. I still can't believe it worked. We need to take this carpet for a spin because it's a flying carpet. Maywish, you are going to be our pilot. That means you need to sit in the center of the carpet. Okay. So make it fly. Come on. I'm trying. You can't do this with just the power of your mind. You need the flying carpet shoes. All the way from Persia. That's what you need for a flying carpet. You can do it, you can do it. And make it fly. Whoa. <laughs> this is oh really neat. Looking good. Okay, let's bring this thing in for a landing. Okay. Ooh. Good flight, Maywesh. What do you think, guys? We weren't born yesterday. This is a hovercraft. Stand up, let's take a little tour of Big Al's hovercraft here. There we go. Sheet of plywood. The blower goes in the hole. Pumps air into a big plastic diaphragm underneath. Air goes into the plastic. The air escapes from the center and oozes out underneath the plastic to give you a nice thin cushion of air to slide around on. You put a carpet on it, and what do you have? A flying carpet. That's right. That's what I've been trying to say all along. This is like science magic that's inspired by the rising tides of the Bay of Fundy. Next Thursday, join Alan as he wows the crowd with a scientific sleight of hand, magically floating raisins, self-extinguishing candles. They're all going to be here next Thursday. Okay, so I'm sure you've heard the expression, the eyes are the window 